Hi there, people. Um, my name is Rocky Kukur Chumpong. Um, my friends call me Rocky. <laughs> Certainly, you can call me Rocky. Okay, I'm a credit repair consultant, and um, today I'm here to educate you about ways to build your credit score using your credit cards. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to advise you to do is have an open mind, okay, and have a mentality change about credit cards, okay, or about credit in its entirety, okay. People are scared of having credit cards because they think credit cards are not necessary. Actually, the contrary is true because credit cards are really necessary and that contributes to, to your credit score, okay. Now, um, back to the reason why we started this whole video, okay. I want you people to think about credit cards as not an expense but as an investment okay it's it's not a bill it is just it's more or less the same as using a, a debit card it's just that you should find the best credit card for the best um you know um use you could get credit cards you could apply for credit cards that have cash backs and bonus some points on them that you could actually make use of all right so Instead of using your credit card, I mean your debit card, sorry. Instead of using your debit card to swipe, mind you, once you swipe your credit card, your money is gone. You've lost money. That's it. But if you use your credit card, okay, it builds towards your credit history, okay. Um, plus, you have cashbacks and bonuses on them. So, you pay less for using your credit card as compared to using your debit card. I hope I'm making sense here. All right. So if you realize I'm hitting some notes and points, like, share, comment on this video. If you have any questions regarding credit, throw it down in the comment section. Now let me go ahead and educate you on how to use your credit cards as, or how to use your credit cards to build your credit score. Now, your debtors or your creditors, those who issue the other credit cards to you, have two dates on file for you. They're the most important dates when it comes to credit cards. It is your due date and your cycle date. Now, your due date is the day you're supposed to pay off all your accounts, pay off all your debts on your card, or at least the minimum balance on your card. And your cycle date is the date that your creditors, okay, report whatever transaction you have on your account to the credit bureaus. I hope I'm making sense. Your due date is when you pay your bills. Your cycle date is when you are reported to the credit bureaus. Now, what I'm going to advise you to do or educate you on how to do is or what to do is make sure you pay off all your debts by I personally reset my accounts to the first. That's my due date and my cycle date is the fifth. Cycle dates are usually four or five days after the due date. Okay, so I reset my uh, due date to the first. So by the first, I know I've paid off all my debts on my credit card. Now, what happens between the first and the fifth or the sixth is that I don't use that card. Because between the first and the fifth is when your creditors report to the credit bureaus as you having some late payments, you having some account balances. But I personally, and I would advise or um, recommend for everybody to keep zero balance between these, um, the, this period. Okay, what that does is it, it feeds the credit bureau this illusion of you being a very responsible person. So if you ha always have zero balances between those five day period, that five day period between your cycle, um, between your due date and your cycle date, you're always going to be safe. You could use your card. You could help. You can max it out after the or after the cycle day, which I most definitely won't advise you to do. Okay, always stay below the thirty percent mark of your um, credit card. You don't max out your credit cards because it goes against you. All right, so that is one way to build your credit card, uh, your credit score using one credit card. Okay, as this goes on month to month on monthly basis your reputation goes high by the credit bureaus. You're seen as a very, very responsible person. And mind you, you wouldn't even have to increase um, your, your, um, 
your threshold on your credit card, you wouldn't even need to apply for an increase. Your debtors will actually start following you up and asking you if you want an increase. That's how it is. Once you see you're a responsible person, they try to increase your card. That is a trick to get you in their bind, but don't ever fall for it. You can increase it, but never use beyond 30% of the mark or 30% of the card. Now, if you have multiple cards, I'd advise you to take two out of them, those multiple accounts or multiple cards and look for those two that have high benefits. Those, have, those that have high cash back, those who have you know, points, travel, you know, all of that. Okay, the best two. Now, name one of them for, for, for the sake of example, I'm gonna name I'm gonna name one of them card one and the second card two. Alright. Now stay keep doing what you do for card one. The cycle dates, the, the due dates, whatever it is, keep doing the same thing. But keep in mind the dates. First and the fifth. First being your due date and the fifth being your cycle date. Now, let's talk about card two. Whilst you're using card one, you haven't reached, mind you, you haven't reached the first yes, uh, the first yet. So you're still using your card. You're making expenses. You're buying stuff on the card. Whilst you're doing that with that card, you can set the second card or card two with a due date of the 15th and then the cycle date of, let's say, the 20th. Whilst you do that, it gives you a cushion because when this card is waiting to be card one is waiting to be reported to the credit bureaus, you could be using card two. Okay, and you can set all your um, all your expenses, all your bills in card one from after the fifth. That will mean you're safe. You can make all your payments by then. Once you're making those um, expenses and payments, you could be using the other card. All right, so it gives you a kind of a cushion. Whilst this is in wait, this could be active. And whilst the other is active, the other could be in use. So I hope this made a lot of sense to you. If you realize that I helped you a lot with um, the information considering building your credit or boosting your credit score in 30 days using your credit card, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe to my channel, guys. Subscribe to the channel because I have a lot of information in there. For you guys so um i appreciate your time i'll see you at the top and have a blessed day